a clever thief who pulls off a smart crime. Once upon a time, in a quiet town named Willowbrook, there lived a clever thief named Max. Max wasn't like ordinary thieves. He had a mind full of sharp ideas and a heart that beat with the rhythm of adventure. One Sunday afternoon, Max strolled down Willowbrook's bustling Market Street. He couldn't help but notice the sparkling jewelry in Mr. Johnson's shop. The jewelry gleamed like stars in the night sky. Max's eyes twinkled with a mischievous idea. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Max put his plan into action. He knew that stealing the jewelry would be a challenge, but he was ready for it. Max had a knack for thinking outside the box. First, he befriended the neighborhood cat, Whiskers. Max knew that Whiskers liked to roam the town at night, so he tied a tiny bag of catnip to Whiskers' collar. Then, he whispered his plan to the cat. That night, as the moon rose high, Max set his plan in motion. He waited for Whiskers to roam near Mr. Johnson's shop. Using a small, soft whistle, Max signaled Whiskers to jump onto the windowsill. With a quick paw swipe, Whiskers knocked over a small vase inside the shop. The crash startled Mr. Johnson's parrot, Polly, who squawked and flapped its wings. The noise woke up Mr. Johnson who hurried downstairs to check on the commotion. While Mr. Johnson was busy calming Polly and cleaning up the mess, Max seized the opportunity. He slid through the shop's back door, his heart racing. The jewelry display glittered before him like a treasure trove. Max carefully selected a few pieces of jewelry and stashed them in a pouch he had brought along. He smiled to himself admiring how cleverly his plan was working. With a silent step, he slipped back out and vanished into the night, leaving no trace behind. The next morning, when Mr. Johnson discovered the missing jewelry, he scratched his head in confusion. There were no signs of a break-in, and the security cameras showed nothing unusual. The townspeople were amazed at how the jewelry had disappeared without a single clue. As days turned into weeks, Max kept a low profile. He didn't want anyone to suspect him. He even returned whiskers to the market, so nobody would connect the cat to the crime. Max chuckled to himself, proud of his smart crime. In the end, Max's crafty adventure proved that intelligence could triumph over brute force. His unique plan had outsmarted alarms and cameras. Max didn't steal for greed, he stole to challenge his own wits. And so, dear readers, as you explore the tale of Max the Clever Thief, remember that learning English can be as exciting as solving a puzzle. Just like Max's creative thinking, English has its own patterns and surprises waiting to be uncovered. Embrace the journey of learning and intrigue, and who knows what adventures lie ahead in your language exploration.